Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the solemnity of the Dormition or Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And so let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will, we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment, confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let us say together the second form of the Confidier found on page 66. I confess to Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say three Hail Marys. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Sing a new song to the Lord, who has done marvelous deeds. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God, our Father, today we celebrate that moment when you called the Blessed Virgin Mary unto yourself. Grant that, following the example of her love, sacrifice, and devotion, we may always strive for your heavenly kingdom. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child. 
destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed one. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, The queen stands at your right hand arrayed in gold. The queen stands at your right hand arrayed in gold. The queen takes her place at your right hand in gold of Ophir. The queen stands at your right hand arrayed in gold. Hear, O daughter, and see. Turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. The queen stands at your right hand arrayed in gold. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your lord. The queen stands at your right hand arrayed in gold. They are born in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. The queen stands at your right hand arrayed in gold. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the firstfruits, then it is coming those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end when he hands over the kingdom to, God, to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he subjected everything under his feet. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. All glorious is the king's daughter as she enters. Her raiment is threaded with gold. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. May Almighty God cleanse my heart and my lips that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the holy gospel according to St. Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. He has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. This is the gospel of the Lord. 
Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today, I must admit, is a very special day for me personally. 30 years ago today, I remember because, well, it will be evident in the story, 30 years ago today, in 1994, I woke up that morning with an oddly burning desire to go to Mass. Now, I hadn't been to church for a number of years at that point, and by happenstance, I happened to look for a church in the area with a Mass that had a perfect fit to my schedule so I could get to work thereafter. And I found one, a Mass that started at 7.15, which was perfect because I could leave my house at 7, get there in time for Mass, and then leave in time to get to work at 8 o'clock. This was at St. Joseph Parish in Mishawaka, Indiana. And I walked in to that church, knelt down, said a few cursory prayers, as you're taught to do as a youth. And when Mass started, to my vast surprise, the pastor, whom I grew up with in grade school, was now the pastor at this parish. And all of a sudden, I felt like I had come home. And also, to my surprise, it was this solemnity, the assumption or demission of Mary, a solemnity. I did not know it was a solemnity when I woke up that morning or when I arrived at the church, but there we go. That's how I remember this day. So after that, I decided I was going to go to Mass every Sunday and Holy Day. Since I started on a Holy Day, it was a great day to start, which I did up until Lent when I, as my Lenten resolution, I said I was going to go every day, except when, of course, I couldn't make it but not through any part thing of my own if something came up. So that led to me finally hearing the call to investigate the seminary, which I did, going to the seminary, getting ordained, which led me eventually here to the Polish National Catholic Church in 2010 and here to Holy Trinity in 2020, where I am with you today. Now, back in 1994, we didn't have the proliferation of the internet, so I looked in the phone book for mass times, <laughs> um, and that's how I found it. We didn't have something we could click on to watch a mass, as all I can do today. But I believe firmly it was Mary who put that little inspiration in my mind to go to Mass that morning in the solemnity of her falling asleep and her body being assumed to heaven. Now, the difference between the mission and assumption is that the assumption says she was assumed alive, the mission says she fell asleep or died, and her body was then assumed into heaven where she was reunited. So, one way or the other, she has a special place, her body, the temple of her spirit, was indeed somehow brought to heaven to be reunited with her. And she looks out for us, even today, from heaven, interceding for us with her son. What mother, what son would not listen to their mother, especially Jesus, how he loved his mother Mary so very much. And that my brothers and sisters, is something we need to look at today. We all have our earthly parents. Perhaps our mothers are still around. Perhaps they have gone to their earthly heavenly reward, or eternal reward, I should say. But we all came from somewhere. And Jesus, in his earthly mother of Mary, gave him earthly life was fully divine and fully human. His human life began in the womb of Mary. And what mother's what a mother's love that is. We we know how her heart was pierced during his crucifixion and death and how overjoyed she must have been at the resurrection. Yet she continued to live until an old age when she fell asleep. That's what we celebrate today, the life of 
in Greek, the Theotokos, the mother of God. How beautiful, how beautiful. But she's also, again, our mother. If we allow her, she will be calling us. She'll put something into our heart that will take us to places we never knew we could go. 30 years ago, I could never have told you that, that I would be in Kewanee, Illinois, celebrating Mass. 30 years ago, I didn't even know where Kewanee, Illinois was. But yet, here I am. Here we are. No matter where we may be in the state, in the world, we're gathered together on this day. So, on this day, as we remember the end of the earthly life of the Blessed Virgin Mary, let us pray that we be open to her promptings and flee to her as a mom because she cares for us. She loves us as she loved her own son, which is infinitely. And she will intercede for us on our behalf with her son. So let us never forget Mary. Let us never forget our mother. And pray through her that she will intercede on our behalf to her son for whatever legitimate and holy needs that we have here in this world so that we may be with her son and her forever in the next. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now stand and turn to page 71 as we say together the creed that uh, brings us together as Christians. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. Of the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. God is always at work to provide for what we truly need and to bring us to a newer and fuller life in Christ. Mindful of this, let us join in offering our prayers to our loving Father in heaven. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Prime Bishop Anthony, Father Senior Charles, our administrator, and all pastors, priests, and deacons, that they may be blessed with the health and vitality as they lead us toward, toward the Father through the teachings of Jesus, his Son, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the protection and sanctity of all human life from conception until natural death, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those facing transitions to or new beginnings in the weeks ahead, that they may look to the challenges with understanding and trust in God's providence, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, especially Bishop John Mack and those in our parish prayer list, that the healing love of the Spirit will touch them and bring them to wholeness. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the needs and intentions we hold deep in the silence of our hearts. And for whom this Mass is offered, which is for the repose of the soul of Father Robert Naist. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our beloved dead and those who will die today, that they may enjoy eternal rest in God's heavenly kingdom, 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, you love us without end and give us hope. Grant that we may reflect your love to one another faithfully and joyfully. We ask this to your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I will put enmity between you and the woman, between your offspring and hers. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, where we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands may become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, for the benefit of his holy church. Almighty Father, we ask you through this offering and through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary to ignite our hearts by the fire of your love, that we may always aspire towards you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. At the end of her earthly life, the Blessed Virgin Mary experienced the falling asleep into death that led to her being joined under her son in the heavenly kingdom. Emulating the holy life of Mary, may we strive to fulfill God's will so that one day we may also be united with Jesus in heaven. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy Sacrifice Mass continues with Eucharistic Prayer 2. It's found on page 82 if you're following along. We have thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your word, inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you are well pleased. We sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, to give light to the just, to make a covenant and to manifest his resurrection. He took bread. He gave you thanks and said, take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you.
In like manner, he took the cup and said, This is my blood, which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. Together, calling then the death and resurrection to mind, we offer you the bread and the cup. We thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. <clears throat> we ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your holy church to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit to the strengthening of their faith in the truth. So may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him may glory and honor be yours, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, now and forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> On page 95, let us pray together with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Do not look at our sins but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let's say together the First Communion Prayer, found on page 97, if you're following along. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food, and may the gift I have received bring me healing and strength now and forever.
behold, from now on will all ages call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Let us pray. <coughs> Heavenly Father, through the Eucharist we have been fed that bread which led us to the glory of the resurrection. As we honor the life and death of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we ask for her intercession. May we emulate the love and devotion she gave to our Lord. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Before we do our prayer of St. Michael, I would just like to say to anyone who may have found themselves inexplicably drawn to this Mass today, please know it was a movement of the supernatural that led you here. If you have found peace, run with it. If you have found home, run with it. Just begin going back to Mass if you haven't for a while. Come home to your church. Come home to your faith. Because if we miss you, importantly, Jesus misses you. Let's say together the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Join me now in prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me so love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. And where there's sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us for our Holy Mass today. We pray that you can join us on Saturday for our 5 p.m. Vigil Mass for the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Sunday at 9 a.m. for the 20th Sunday of Ordinary Time, and to both Central Daylight Time. We pray that you have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Remain in the state of grace. Fight evil wherever you find it. Spread joy wherever you go along with the Word of God. Hail, Holy Queen, enthroned above, O Maria. Hail, Queen of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph, all ye cherubim, sing with us, ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound the hymn. Salve, salve, salve Regina. And when from death to life we passed, O Maria, show us your Son, our Lord, at last, O Maria. Triumph all ye cherubim, Sing with us, ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound the hymn. Salve, 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 Regina.